The Kostyushka National Park slash KZ Sko slash is a 6,900 square kilometer national park and contains mainland Australia's highest peak, Mount Kostyushka, for which it is named, and Cabramura the highest town in Australia. Its borders contain a mix of rugged mountains and wilderness, characterized by an alpine climate, which makes it popular with recreational skiers and bushwalkers. The park is located in the southeastern corner of New South Wales, 354 kilometers southwest of Sydney, and is contiguous with the Alpine National Park in Victoria to the south, and the Numaji National Park in the Australian Capital Territory to the northeast. The larger towns of Kuma, Tumut and Jindabyne lie just outside and service the park. The waters of the Snowy River, the Murray River, the Murrumbidgee River, and the Gungarlan River all rise in this park. Other notable peaks in the park include Gungarten, Mount Jagungal, Bimberi Peak, and Mount Townsend. On November 7, 2008, the park was added to the Australian National Heritage List as one of 11 areas constituting the Australian Alps National Parks and Reserves. Kiandra Snow Shoe Carnival 1900 Cabramura, Australia's highest town, was built during construction of the Snowy Mountain Scheme. Multiple Aboriginal groups in the southern part of NSW gathered in the Australian Alps bioregion in the summer on an annual pilgrimage to the Bogong and Snowy Mountains. Here, the men participated in a feast of bogong moths that were found on the rocky outcrops of the mountains. The area was explored by Europeans in 1835, and in 1840, Edmund Strzelecki ascended Mount Kościuszka and renamed it after a Polish patriot and military leader Tadeusz Kościuszka. High country stockmen followed, using the snowy mountains for grazing during the summer months. Banjo Patterson's famous poem The Man from Snowy River recalls this era. The cattle graziers have left a legacy of mountain huts scattered across the area. Today these huts are maintained by the National Parks and Wildlife Service or volunteer organizations like the Kostyushka Huts Association. In the 19th century, gold was mined on the high plains near Kiandra. At its height, this community had a population of about 4,000 people, and ran 14 hotels. It was here that skiing in Australia commenced around 1861. Since the last resident left in 1974, Kiandra has become a ghost town of ruins and abandoned in diggings. In the 20th century, the focus of skiing in New South Wales shifted south closer to the Kostyushka main range. The Kostyushka National Park came into existence as the National Chase Snowy Mountains on December 5, 1906. In April 1944, following the passage of the Kosciuszko State Park Act, the Kosciuszko State Park was proclaimed. It then became the Kostyushka National Park in 1967. The name was misspelt as Kosciuszko until 1997. The construction of the Snowy Mountain Scheme between 1949-74 saw much of the area explored, brought improvements to roads and resulted in the construction of several dams and tunnels across the park in one of the world's largest engineering achievements Kosciuszka National Park has a number of heritage-listed sites. Including, the higher regions of the park experience an alpine climate which is unusual on mainland Australia. However, only the peaks of the main range are subject to consistent heavy winter snow. The climate station at Charlotte Pass recorded Australia's lowest temperature of minus 23 degrees Celsius on June 28, 1994. Blue Lake in the characteristically U-shaped glacial valley, Kostyushka National Park. During the last ice age, which peaked about 20,000 years ago in the Pleistocene epoch, the highest peaks of the main range near Mount Kostyushka experienced a climate which favored the formation of glaciers, evidence of which can still be seen today. Cirques moraines, tarn lakes, roche mouton knees and other glacial features can all be seen in the area. Lake Kutapatamba, which was formed by an ice spilling from Mount Kostyushka's southern flank, is the highest lake on the Australian mainland. Lake Albina, Club Lake, Blue Lake, and Headley Tarn also have glacial origins. There is some disagreement as to exactly how widespread Pleistocene glaciation was on the main range, and little or no evidence from earlier glacial periods exists. The David Moraine, a one-kilometer-long ridge running across Spencer's Creek Valley seems to indicate a larger glacier existed in this area at some time, however the glacial origin of this feature is disputed. There is evidence of paraglacial activity in the area. Silifluxion appears to have created terraces on the northwest flank of Mount Northcote. Frosteve is also a significant agent of soil erosion in the Kostyushka area. Snow gum at tree line along Dead Horse Gap Walk, Kostyushka National Park. The Kostyushka National Park covers a variety of climatic regions which support several distinct ecosystems. That which is most closely identified with the park, 
the alpine area above the tree line, is one of the most fragile and covers the smallest area. This area is a patchwork of alpine heaths, herb fields, feldmarks, bogs and fens. The windswept feldmark ecotope is endemic to the alpine region, and covers a mere 300,000 square meters. It is most vulnerable to the wandering footsteps of unmindful tourists. Nine separate wilderness zones have been identified in the latest management scheme. These include the Indi, Bayadbo, Pilot, Jagungal, Bogong Peaks, Gubaragandra, Western Falls, Brahmana and Bimberi wilderness areas. Many rare or threatened plant and animal species occur within the boundaries of the park. The park is home to one of Australia's most threatened species, the Karaburi frog. The endangered mountain pygmy possum and the more common dusky antichinus are located in the high country of the park. There are also significant populations of feral animals in the park, including brumbies or wild horses. Park authorities have coordinated their culling and relocation, leading to public controversy over how to reduce their numbers. The actual number of horses within the park is also difficult to ascertain with estimates ranging from 1,700 in 2008 increasing by 300 each year, 7,679 in 2009, and from 2,500 to 14,000 in 2013 to 2014. In 2016 the population was estimated to be 6,000. By 2019, this number was found to have more than doubled to 25,000. A 2020 survey placed the number at 14,380. In June 2021, Federal Environment Minister Susan Lay wrote to the NSW Environment Minister Matt Keane saying she planned to introduce regulation under federal environmental laws to protect the park. Because the state was failing in its obligation to do so. A management plan for the wild horses was released on November 24, 2021. By June 2027 numbers are planned to be culled down to 3,000. Map of the National Park The Australian Alps walking track is shown in yellow. Much of the park is dominated by alpine woodlands, characterized by the snow gum. Montane and wet sclerophyll forest also occur across the ranges, supporting large stands of alpine ash and mountain gum. In the southern Biadbo wilderness area, dry sclerophyll and wattle forests predominate. Amongst the many different native trees in the park, the large Chinese elm has become naturalized. Much of the tree cover in the lower sections of the park was seriously burned in bushfires in 2003. Fires are a natural feature of the park ecosystem, but it will take some time for the region to return to its pre-2003 condition. A tranquil section of Threadbow River the mountains are typically covered by meter deep snow for up to four months of the year. The ski resorts of Threadbow, Selwyn Snowfields, Parisher and Charlotte Pass lie within the park. The electric rack railway, called the Skitube Alpine Railway, connects the Alpine Way to the Parisher Valley. The 655-kilometer Australian Alps walking track crosses almost the length of the park. Many thousands of people make the walk to Mount Kostjushka during the summer. It is 9 kilometers from Charlotte Pass, or 6 kilometers from the Threadbow chairlift. Camping is permitted anywhere in the park except within sight of a road or near a watercourse. The lighting of fires is severely restricted in higher altitudes. Mountain biking is allowed on all management trails outside of wilderness areas, and on a small number within them, Grey Mare Trail, Round Mountain Trail, Valentine Trail, Hellhole Creek Trail, Cascade Trail, Njigudbi Trail, and the Nine Mile Trail. Canoeing and swimming in the rivers and lakes are popular in the warmer weather. The rivers and dams are stocked with trout from nearby hatcheries. Seasonal trout fishing is allowed after a permit is obtained. Other attractions include the whitewater rafting, trail riding, Yorango Billy Caves, Coolman Caves, Tin Mine Falls, Australia's highest waterfall and Valentine Falls. Guided tours are conducted through several caves in the karst region of Yarango Billy. Other tours are also available. Sawpit Creek has a major campground with facilities for caravans and cabins available for rent. The Snowy River originates in the park and flows south to Victoria. Many tunnels, dams, generators and other parts of the Snowy Mountain Scheme hydroelectric system are located within the park, including the Tantangara Reservoir. The Snowy Scheme, constructed between 1949 and 1974, is a hydroelectricity and irrigation complex consisting of 16 major dams, 7 power stations, a pumping station, and 225 kilometers of tunnels, pipelines and aqueducts. The chief engineer was Sir William Hudson. It is the largest engineering project undertaken in Australia. An 8 kilometers power line is planned through the area. Thanks for watching.